For once, we're trying something new. This guy gets it. The following trailer is rated H for honest. Get ready for an annual event like you haven't seen since last year, where the juggernauts of gaming assemble and the dreams and hopes of eager fans are made before they're crushed six months later when everything gets canceled. Electronic 3. Fight your way through a stench of butts so powerful, it's like you're biting an actual ass. And press into the sweaty crowds of the LA Convention Center, where game publishers and studios from all over the world come together to show off to a seething mass of neckbeards as each company spends ridiculous amounts of money on parties, giveaways, knickknacks, and, until they made them stop, a heaping helping of bibs. In an orgy of marketing gimmicks that would all be unnecessary if, you know, they just made a good video game instead. But hey, I'll take the t-shirt. Conspicuous consumption is my shit. Whether you're at the actual convention, or just took three days off from work to stream it at home in a growing pile of soda cans and powdered donut sugar, prepare your flap for the main attraction of E3, the press conferences, where AAA publishers and developers announce their upcoming titles in presentations that range from fun to silly to outright cringeworthy as they hit you with a mix of random celebrities, awkward speeches translated from Japanese, unnecessary dance numbers, developers with no public speaking skills, and a handful of trailers and announcements that would have gotten just as much hype if they pre-taped them and put them out online. It's the one aspect of the industry where Nintendo is actually ahead of the game. Whoa, slick videos and Muppets. Now, if only someone could teach them how the internet works. Immerse yourself in a maelstrom of hype and anticipation as developers bring their A-game with live gameplay demos of brand new products that will probably break on stage in some of the most embarrassing footage ever to be broadcast live on the internet. Or amazing cinematic trailers that will blow your mind with their incredible potential. Until you realize that they're pre-rendered tech demos that won't look anything like the finished product. Or are for games that will be delayed for a literal decade. Or just get unceremoniously cancelled mid-development. In the video game industry equivalent of the monorail dude from The Simpsons. Oh, but look at Shenmu Kickstarter! This one will totally work out! Once you've taken in all the hype you can handle, hit the convention floor as you finally make your childhood dreams come true by making it to E3, where you'll immediately be greeted by a nerd wonderland of games, peripherals, and IGN booths, and prepare to get your hands on the latest games and tech. After four hours waiting in line behind a cornucopia of sweaty nerds until you finally get to touch a new video game for like five minutes, in a convention experience that used to be a mecca for gamers. But now that we have packs to compare it to, it kind of feels hard to justify spending 250 bucks on. So set your stream resolutions on high, and your expectations even higher, for a gaming convention experience like no other. Because no matter how many times they hurt you, you still really want that FF7 remake when it comes out in 2042. Starring Hashtag Girlwood, an army of white guys in suits, My Body is Reggie, The Giant Enemy Crab, anything that had to do with the Kinect, that Killzone 2 trailer, this terrible version of Rock Band. Talk Fuji's crazy ass. You'll be sucked. When an elderly Japanese man holding a sword made adults cry. That time EA livestream Snoop Dogg smoking a blunt. What the f*** are you even thinking? And take it easy on the cocaine guy. <laughs> Electronic Embarrassment Exposition. Everyone is on that Red Dead Redemption 2 hype train, but I just want to know more about that Mario Rabbids crossover. Who got super high and greenlit that one? Is there a series that you have desperately been requesting and never got to see? Do you think your series is superior? Well, here's your chance to prove it in our first ever Honest Games Trailers Gauntlet. In the month of June, fans will get to vote from 24 of the most requested Honest Trailer games, and each week, we'll pit six games against each other, pick a winner, and make an Honest Trailer about it. Then in July, we'll put the final four in a month-long poll and truly see which series comes up on top. To cast your vote, look up the hashtag HGTVote on Twitter and Facebook. Good luck, and let's hope your game can survive the gauntlet. Comment below on what you want me to read in my epic voice. All I want to do is crack open a cold one with the boys. Life's a party, you're a boy. The sea has no memory, but I do. Do the Mario, swing your arms from side to side. Sub-Zero wins. Fatality.